Namaste Dosto, I'm here with Sali and with wife. And today we're gonna to take you to a restaurant which hasn't changed <laughs> its flavors, unlike other fast food restaurants here in India. Like KFC that doesn't sell the original recipe chicken and like McDonald's which doesn't have a Big Mac and the, the menu is totally, totally different. So let's go and check out this place here. So we're here at Nando's and guys this video isn't sponsored, I don't do sponsor videos and for some reason these fast food restaurants, they never like you filming inside here so I kind of film under cover with my GoPro and, and my little my special word. Thank you. There you go. That's yours Asta. And um, we use the word 45 when one of the staff members is coming and I stopped talking, I stopped vlogging. So yeah, not sponsored. I don't do sponsorships or paid anything. Now I got a lot of experience eating here at Nando's because back in New Zealand, it was one of the few places that my Muslim friends could actually eat at because in New Zealand at least, it's halal. So we always used to go there together and, and eat chicken. And when I go to an international restaurant, I want it to taste the same everywhere. Why should KFC taste different in India to a tasting different in the US. Like, I made a video about that. Here in India, they don't use the Colonel Secret 11 herbs and spices. That is classic KFC. When I got the KFC here and I didn't have that, I was like mind blown what's going on here. It's like when you eat Indian food overseas. It's like inauthentic and overly sweet and kind of like watered down a bit. Same thing happens here in India with foreign foods. They don't bring the same recipes here. They kind of Indianize it for the Indian palate, which I think is really unfortunate. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Do you want to have like authentic food, authentic fast food, or do you want the Indianized versions here in India? It's hard if you've never tried like real KFC to know what you want, to be honest. And just look at one example. So there's a restaurant in Auckland called Paradise. It's an Indian restaurant and they started making like pretty near authentic Hyderabad cuisine in Auckland and now it's the number one restaurant in Auckland when it comes or maybe even in New Zealand when it comes to Indian food because they made it so authentically. So authentic food does work and we're here at Nando's because it's one of the few restaurants as I hope we're gonna see that has brought the authentic flavors from South Africa here to India. And so this is during COVID time, so you have to download your menu digitally. And the one thing I've noticed straight away, this is a world first. Nando's India is more expensive than Nando's in South Africa. I can't believe that. Usually India is the cheapest place to eat any of these fast foods in the entire world, but not in this case. Oh, thank you. So we've got Nando's signature marinated and char grilled chicken. And now this should taste incredible. They use this amazing peri peri sauce. And everywhere I've been in the world, everywhere I've tried this, it's always been the same. Super juicy and the peri peri sauce never changes. So let's see if it's the same here in India. And then we'll go on to this. This is an Indian creation, obviously. This you won't find on any other Nando's menu around the world. I thought we would try something kind of inauthentic to see what they've done here for vegetarians in India. All right, chicken. And just gonna rip it off. Wow, it does look good. Mm. So finally, I can say something good about a fast food restaurant here in India, and that's that Nando's has kept it exactly like overseas, their chicken at least. Super juicy, the peri peri sauce is exactly as I remember it from New Zealand, so awesome. And to be honest, this is a hard thing to do. It's hard to get really good quality chicken here in India. At least it is for me whenever I've tried to get it. I've always found the quality of meat a bit lower here in fast food restaurants here in India. So I can tell that Nando's has gone out and found some good suppliers here in India. And that really makes a difference and it's probably why you have to pay a bit more here at Nando's compared to McDonald's. Let's try the fries, of course. They have these special peri peri fries. Exactly the same. This is called creamy cashew paneer and spicy rice. It looks good. It, it looks like butter chicken to me, to be honest. Let's find out. Mm. 
It's a little different. Wow. Okay, nothing like butter chicken. Besides, it's kind of like a tomato base. But this is incredible. Maybe they should consider having this on menus around the world at Nando's. They've made their peri peri sauce into a curry with kind of like a cashew nut base. Man, I'm really impressed with Nando's and what they've done. When they've come here to India, they haven't changed the recipe and they've added a few extra menu items that might appeal to Indians, like this paneer. Mm. But they're also staying true to their own flavors of the peri peri. I should just try the rice. Yeah, Nando's is nailing it. <coughs> oh, it is a bit spicy. Nando's is nailing it. Everything is perfect here. And as you can see by the interiors, they're all kind of the same compared to overseas. Not exactly the same. It's a little kind of, I don't know, I feel a little less premium at the Indian branches compared to New Zealand and a few other countries that they didn't Nando's at. But it's fine. It'll do. Okay, guys, these guys have been waiting. You want to eat? Jalo. Sucks waiting for a vlogger, Hena. Jalo, kao, kao. Have you guys ever eaten Nando's overseas? Nah. I think she's only been to New Zealand overseas. And you've been nowhere. Can't ask, ask her any questions. But wait, just, just try this curry for us quickly. Just tell us what, like, how you like this curry. It's good, no? Like it tastes like the chicken of it. Yeah. So we just ordered a cake because I just remembered the chocolate cake here is great. And then, so me and Sally are like, yeah, let's have cake. And then she's like, no, 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 I won't have cake. If the cake comes, I have to eat. And now the cake's coming, she's like, <laughs> now she wants a cake and look how she's sitting she's like slouched back like oh like we just all picked out good you're laughing <laughs> cake's coming that look who's having the first bite oi you're not reviewing it it's my cake you're not reviewing it we review it together just the looks on our faces Oh, it's so yum. Oh. Mm. <laughs> After we devoured it, this is what I call a devil's food cake. So there's three layers. Cake, chocolate, cake, chocolate, cake, chocolate. Wait, there's more than three layers. Six layers in total. It's, it's, it's awesome. Good enough. And the thing is, good cake is hard to come by in India because you guys are used to this like this this like fake everything cake sure. like the flour in it is this fake ass flour the the chocolate's not real they're using they're using that fake cream as well and it just tastes so bad I she, she loves indian cakes that, that's my description of indian cakes but if you come to a place like this or what was it big chill cakery and creamery they make these kind of like European style cakes that I'm used to and they're much more expensive but the quality of the ingredients is, is up there as well like yeah. You love this though? Because this is not an Indian cake, this is a traditional cake I like both mm. Stop eating the mansion, where's this man? So if you guys want to try something authentic and taste something like it tastes overseas come and try Nando's Nando's, you owe me between 10 to 20 lakh now. Let's put it in my bank account, no?